Hi guys, this is Buck Blue Band and I'm Norman. Have you ever felt worried about the power consumption and the noise made by your machine? Today is a lucky day. I'm going to introduce to you a brand new technology that is called Immersion Cooling System. It uses oil and water circulation to diminish the power consumption and the noise and it rapidly increases the hash rate of your machine. What are the advantages of this cooling system? Compared with the old traditional air cooling system, what is the difference between the old one and the new one? Normally, when we add outside environment, the decibel will normally reach around 35 to 40. So as you can see from the screen, uh, let me keep quiet so you can see the statistics of how many decibel it reaches now, even though the machine is running. And no matter you are mining things at your own place, or in your factory, it is obviously a very huge advantageous thing for you to do. Okay, as you can see, this is one of the machines that we didn't use the oil cooling system and there are a lot of problems happen to this machine. First one is the electrostatic dust and second one is cheap oxidation. The oil cooling system really reduces the possibility of failure by 90%. Oil cooling insulates the air eliminates the machine damage caused by water vapor erosion, cheap oxidation, fine vibration, and electrostatic dust. Under the same operating frequency, the cheap temperature of the whole machine running in oil is lowered. The oil cooling scheme saves the power consumption of the cooling fan. Compared with running in air, the machine saves power by around 16%. The oil cooling can be overclocked freely, up to 40%. You can see the data of this oil cooling cabinet clearly from its backstage. It can overclock up to 40%, which is 75 dH per second. Temperature of both hash rate board and chip is within normal range. If you want the temperature to be lower, you can choose to increase the water cycle, reduce overclocking data, or increase power consumption. The purpose of overclocking is to cover the cost of water and electricity with residual benefits. That's awesome! Oil cooling does not have high requirements for plant facilities. The room can be fully enclosed with ventilation equipment, reducing the investment of traditional cooling stuff such as water curtain, fans, etc. As you can see, this is very important. It's called electromagnetic valve, and this is input port, and this is output port. Well, inside the tank, as you can see, there is a lot of space for you to put the machine in there. This is the Ethernet cable, and this is the power supply connectors. These blue pipes are the parts where the water will flow. Here are two fans. That's pretty much everything inside the tank. I will tell you later how it works. Alright, today I'm going to use this Antminer T17 Plus as an example. As you can see, there are four fans attached on both sides and all you have to do is use this electrical screwdriver to remove all the screws. So, let's do it! These are analog accelerators. The purpose of using this is to make the machine feel the existence of the earlier fans. Let's pull them back. This little monster is all set up. Let's put it into this tank and give him a free bath. Here we go. And the power connectors goes right here and the other side and the Ethernet cable. All right, it's all settled up. Now we're going to pour the dielectric oil into the tank. Okay, when the machine is all soaked up, you need to stop. And the distance between the oil level and the edge of the tank should be five centimeters. Now we need to connect the water pipes to transfer the cooling water into the tank. 
Okay, now everything is settled up. Let's test how this machine works. Now we need to connect this power supply connectors and the Ethernet cable. Fine repos are slowly flowing with no noise at all, running very steadily. Isn't that amazing? Let's see what the dashboard shows. Temperature of the water, temperature of the oil, of the oil and the temp the speed of the fans. So it's basically everything you can see on the screen when it's running. That's pretty much everything about this machine. And if you like this machine, please comment below and let me know. See you next time. Bye bye.